I Folks, have a duck. Sunday afternoon. Welcome to Murder Hobo Week, the Mark Hughes slash Tri Generational Campaign. We're glad you showed up, uh, or we're glad you're listening to it at a later time. Thank you very much. Uh, these guys are currently still, I think is the better term, ass deep in problems, but we will get to that in a moment. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like a phone case, a duvet cover, or a shower curtain, the link is down there somewhere, I think. Uh, we got a lot of crap down there. Uh, take a look at that. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us on a one-shot or on the talk show on Tuesdays, M Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We will try and get you on there. Margu, of course, is closed uh, because this is a campaign, so you can't play with these guys. You're welcome. Uh, shout out to our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, uh, who make custom dice. Uh, so if you're interested in that, nice, nice backdrop. <laughs> uh, hit them up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. If your game stinks, uh, unlike this game, because this game smells like success, uh, try a little Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. They have a plethora of sense, not success, because uh, we've got a patent on that one. Uh, but they've got a lot of great smells that will really enhance your in-game experience. Uh, they also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to learn how to write uh, much more gooder than me, check out their Shine System. Also, they have the Kickstarter for uh, How to RPG with Your Cat coming out soon, and we will let you know about that. Uh, one of our sponsors for our MurderHoboCon.com is Mattis Productions. So if you're looking for battle maps, excuse me, battle mats, uh, figurines, uh, cool t-shirts, things of that nature, check them out. I tweeted it out earlier today. It's not Mattis Productions at Twitter. It's Mattis uh, with numbers. I think it's 333, but I'm not positive. Follow us on Twitter. You'll see it. it it's easy. Uh, most importantly, next Sunday, a week from today, a scant seven days away, murderhobocon.com. Uh, all day gaming, five bucks to get in, uh, 18, 19 events now, I think, two bands, a comedian, uh, a rave, no shit, uh, a movie theater, and uh, if you want to see our best ofs, uh, we've got our own theater playing that as well. So check that out. Only a couple more days to sign up, though. Uh, after, I think, Thursday night, I'm closing the tickets because I have a lot of back-end shit that I have to do, and I really don't want to be rushed. <laughs> uh, so by Thursday night, get a hold of those tickets. That's at MurderHoboCon.com. Uh, find the link to Tabletop and pick up your badge. Uh, that being said, let's introduce you to the guys who are going to make you laugh, cry, and say, what you guys doing? Uh, we'll start with AJ. I think it's AJ. He's been gone a really long time. <laughs> AJ, who are you? Who do you play? I am AJ. I am playing Felix the Great, <laughs> who I hope is still alive and well, and I trust is because he was in the best hands yeah. in the <laughs> These guys sold you out for a loaf of bread. <laughs> Why would I expect anything different? It was a good loaf of bread. It, it was, was a good it, loaf of bread. I bet it was not a good loaf. I bet it was moldy. It and was you sliced. Threw it away. It, it was sliced bread. Uh, Haggis's duck really liked it. Uh, next up is Jason. Jason, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Uh, I'm playing Copious Volbitters the third, Noah Schwitch, Brewmeister, entrepreneur. Uh, who's currently very concerned about the uh, resemblance of the pig lizard creature and a certain zonkey uh, that we're trying to chase down. And uh, maybe a druid as well. <laughs> yeah, that zonkey is not going to be able to walk very well. Uh, next up is the senior Frank of the group. Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? I am Frank Senior. I'm playing Leaf, the less than considerate druid cleric, who oversaw to make sure there were no slip-ups, no mistakes. Felix is brisk last week. <laughs> that it's uh, we've already discussed that it, when it's all gone, it's not a bris. It's oh, neutering. Oh, I'm sorry, what do you call it? Neutering. Neutering, yes. Yeah, yeah. the, the less than average. 
uh, below average. No amount of pouches will save him now. Uh, next up is the man with the duck. Now, uh, Nicholas tends to run at the mouth a lot, so I'm just going <laughs> to ask him to go ahead and cut it kind of short if he could, please. Uh, Nicholas, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm Nicholas, and I play Haggis Craftstein. Jesus, there's other people on this show to talk. Uh, I, I think little Frank is there. I'm not positive. If he is, he can tell us who he is. He's having a seizure. <laughs> like that episode of Star Trek where Captain Kirk keeps phasing out. <laughs> yeah. phasing in and out of reality. Just keep... Oh, you have no idea. Backwards. I just leave the dimension. Who are you and what are you playing? I am Man Fang. The man with the very attractive scar and the best roles out of all of us, I will say. The best roles. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? The cookie uh, down. We'll say that. Uh, we'll see how that pans out. Yeah, the best roles for the DM, maybe. Yeah, he ought to roll he really the damage. <laughs> uh, last but certainly not least, Middle Frank. Middle Frank, who are you? Who are you? Playing? I am Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, fine, uh, financier of, uh, this adventure and punisher of the stupid and killer, I mean, uh, officer of what's right and by my definition, savior of sinners, uh, of Zeppelin. I, I'm also just a basic bard and a sorcerer of, uh, mm. fire magic, let it burn. Hi, let it my burn. name's... I'm a John. I'm an alcoholic. Hi, I'm Frank. I'm an assassin. And wild magic at that. Yes, and that's what's fun. You know, I, I don't think the rest of the party is going to agree with you and I, but I certainly am going to agree with you on that one. Uh, folks, as I said, this is the Margu campaign. These guys have uh, been doing a lot of damage. <laughs> they, they are currently split up into three different groups. Uh, when they arrived at the destruction of the roadhouse, uh, they found a writer who uh, apparently had a look, uh, gave off a bad vibe, rubbed Bitch, the bitch needed killing. <laughs> and uh, two of the group took off and uh, no way to sugarcoat it, murdered her. Uh, so those two are uh, off somewhere else. Three of them are at the roadhouse, and one of them is just waking up in the stables at Triorki. Uh, and we will go ahead and start with Felix the Great. Uh, the night was a little bit rough, Felix. You aren't really sure where your friends are at. You assume jail, uh, but you haven't seen the jail here. Uh, there was a pretty bad lightning storm. Uh, and as you wake up, uh, the smell of burnt wood timbers is fresh in your uh, nose. As you look around, you see uh, your beloved buttercup uh, nestled upon your bosom, sleeping soundly. You see copious wool bitters uh, mount, uh, still kind of gamey after... Uh, you don't know, but uh, she has given birth to an aberration of unspeakable terms. Uh, oh. And then uh, the giant chickens are uh, laying eggs, and uh, the other zonkey is still around. You find it strange that your associates didn't uh, come and feed their mounts, but apparently they're going to make you do the dirty work here. Uh, you shout for the stable boy, and he is gone. Give me a perception check. Oh, and your butt hurts. You got a bad taste in your mouth and a point in your pocket. And a kidney missing. And you've Did gone. Twenty dollars for that last one. And board? you've gone camping. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty one. Uh, Twenty one. You hear the weeping of a, uh, I think female, maybe teenage or adolescent female outside the stable. I'm gonna peer out there and investigate a little bit and make sure it's safe to go out. Then I'll go and talk to her. Hey. Uh, Small girl, adolescent, maybe teenager, tops at best, halflings, hard to say, uh, is knelt down next to a freshly overturned pile of dirt. Uh, it kind of looks like a short grave, and the girl is sobbing. 
I will uh, ask her what is wrong. Well, it's my brother, the stable hand. Your friends what? unleashed a creature from the netherworld and killed him. What? Okay, first of all, <laughs> you used the F word and they're not my friends. They are just people that I happen to be going the same direction as. Can you tell me which direction they went? That uh, hurts, Felix. That hurts. Yeah, that, that, that was, does, man. That was personal, I man. I you can hear this conversation. This is between me and the... We could hopefully feel it. Through we the felt... They, yeah, there was a quiver in the force, man. Yeah. They, uh, they, they went the same way that Hugo Boss did, and she kind of points... Uh, you know what? D12 against me. Let's see which direction she points. Ten. Four. Point, she points in the direction of east. Oh. <laughs> they went this way. She says okay. east is where they went. Okay, okay. Did they are they coming back? I hope not. They are directly responsible for killing my brother. And for that and I shall never forgive them. I shall never forget. I will make my mission in life. To make sure that your associates pay for the crime. Ah, get in line. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. <laughs> Perhaps we you could lead me to them. I I, I, I am not yet prepared. <laughs> sounds like you've got a boring mission in life. You're gonna, you know, never mind. Anyway, okay. Uh I'm gonna look around and see what else is left of this town that's probably burnt to cinders. Uh, the, remember the business that Haggis broke into? The pigeon place? No, I do not. Okay, Post not office. Been, I've been gone a long time. Okay. Uh, there is a pigeon stop that goes ahead and brings in news from all over the region. This is how they uh, use the internet in Halfling world. Uh, it has been struck by lightning and has burned to the ground. It used to be a two-story and a half building. Uh, there are feathers everywhere, as the pigeon coop was, of course, on top of the building at the highest point. Uh, the people are still sorting through the ash, so there's a large gathering of halflings. I guess I will go talk to some of the other halflings. Uh, there is a uh, dismal feeling among them. Uh, some have remarked how they were happy because the recent discovery of the red dragon and its potential horde will bring in a lot of people, a lot of business, and now they're essentially deaf and dumb without the uh, pigeon roost. So they're going to have to send somebody out on foot uh, to go get more pigeons. <laughs> Sounds like a... Uh, fun endeavor that I don't really have any desire to be a part of. I guess I will ask them which way did they see any? Did they see the people that came in here with me? And if they could point me in. Oh, the your same friends. <laughs> There's that word again. Yes, for the sake of <clears throat> argument, let's call them my friends. Which way did they happen to go? They were headed back to the roadhouse that was burnt by the dragon. Ah, okay. Did they indicate that they were going to be coming back? This no, way? they were They were helping those worthless sacks of shit known as hobgoblins. Stinky creatures. Okay. A lot like that one with the scar, your friend with the scar. Ah, yes, he is the worst of the bunch. But he's definitely the sharpest attack, so don't get on his bad side. He's as sharp as a ball. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Moving over to the remains of the roadhouse, Copius, Haggis, and, uh, well, you don't have a really cool name for him this time, Manfang. Uh, you know what? It's uh, morning, and uh, Robert and Leaf have not returned. This might spell the end of their association with you guys. Uh, your newfound forewoman is trying to organize the party to go ahead and move the debris, the debris out of the way 
so that they can get a fresh start and also recycle anything of use. Um, she will ask one of you, or oh, Haggis, uh, the four woman comes up to you and goes, where are your friends at? Who? The, the tall, ugly orc and the, the human guy that smells a lot like ditch weed. Did, did they get lost in the woods? Well, I don't know. They, they disappeared right after that rider showed up. There was a rider? <laughs> Turns to copious and says, hey, where are your friends at? <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> Are you smoking some? What's going on? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember them leaving. I just we were all in the, like a. It was raining. You don't remember really the murder? <laughs> no, what murder? You freaking murdered them. No, uh, we were we were huddling together because it was raining, and we were had the wagons together, and we had to use a tarp. That was it. Man, Fang lost. Uh, uh, yes, afterwards a rider appeared at the uh, remains of the old roadhouse. Uh, so Copius, she uh, oh, indicates, okay. uh, where are your friends? And this is uh, uh, Heine, right? Correct. Uh, Copius will just play it off as uh, they, they left uh, to scout the area to make sure that the, uh, the creature that was bothering the town is nowhere to be found. Uh, the hobgoblins over here, that oh, 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 keeping their word, yeah. These guys are trustworthy. <laughs> I took one of their fingers, the girl. She doesn't have a finger because of me. It's oh, that's boy. Right. I forgot. It's the Remember, boy. It's Frodo. Missing. Yeah, the boy's Frodo. missing the finger. That was another thing you missed, up, Felix. <laughs> there, there was an incident. I assaulted uh, a child for the fourth time. <laughs> there were a lot of incidents, <laughs> you know. Listen, Frodo has joined our merry band. He's now a manservant. We That's took him true. on as a batman, remember? Because he has no no future in the Hobgoblin Society because he can't be a warrior. So yeah. are, you, are you guys going to call this plantation or can we just call it for what it is? <laughs> We're going to call it Sugar Land. And <laughs> no, he's just going to call himself Big Daddy. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. It's can no, we're gonna call it Candyland. That's what it's called. Oh, it's it Candyland. Candyland. Yeah. It's Candyland. Candyland. Not yeah, that he's Candyland. ever watched that sense. movie. I will put that out there. Yeah, Sugar Sugarland. I think was the one in Texas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Which would also be kind of applicable here. <laughs> uh, so Copious, uh, she points out that uh, she's organizing teams because she's a big team member kind of thing. Uh, wants to know if you have any different colored smocks for the team so that they can be easily identified or if they can use some of the uh, items from Hugo Boss. Uh, I'm going to tell her a, a, that sounds like a capital idea. Uh, if she can, you know, however she decides, just limit the amount that she takes from Hugo Boss. And I'm already having visions of TGI Fridays. <laughs> Got to have the bling, man. We're going to have bling. From, oh, look. Uh, but that's, yeah. Okay. Uh, says, okay, go for it. She uh she kind of rubs her chin whiskers. Uh you and your associates gonna uh help. <laughs> Copius is looking at her like we're we're management. What <laughs> we are helping. Uh, well she asks you, just you made that uh, really hard decision about whether you could use <laughs> Teams, that's like that's the day. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the day. It's, it's time, time for some highballs. <laughs> yeah, come on! Don't you watch Mad Men? <laughs> uh, how do you? How do you have any plans? How do you want this built? It's like the old one. Well, well, I I'm looking around. I so my the brain trust that's there with Copius right now is Haggis. And man thing, right? Correct. You've got high rollers. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. So here's here's Copius's plan. It's called stalling for time. He's going to say, now listen, Manfang is an architectural master. Now he's a little hard to decipher because he thinks on such a higher plane. Go talk with him for about the next hour, and he'll lay out a draft of what it should be like. 
This is going to look like a Jim Carrey movie, isn't it? <laughs> this is hoping that by that time, Lee and Felix and Robert have returned. Fair enough. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning for Robert and Leaf, uh, as you guys, I assume you're going to move the dead body off the road. And the we did that last week or last time we played. Okay, uh, you guys are going to have to pitch tent because it's kind of dark. Uh, otherwise, you guys can't return. You'll be back. Uh, <laughs> if Robert's if Robert's pitching a tent, my ass is going up a tree to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't get that joke, you aren't old enough, folks. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys, are, you guys can camp here. How about that? You guys can camp here or s- suffer exhaustion uh, the next I time. will camp. Okay. What am I, okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got them now. I think. Yes, I got everybody. Uh, okay, you guys will camp. Uh, yeah, we'll camp. D12. I'm like, he's not there now, so. Yeah, D12 against me. Okay, uh, just a second. Six. Six. Reroll. Three. Uh, three. Last <laughs> roll. Six. Ten. Okay, there you go. Uh, the night will pass uneventfully for you as you wake up the next morning. Oh, doing the stretch, you know, getting everything limber, getting ready to go back. Uh, you remember that you had to turn into a war horse. Uh, so you slept really well because uh, yes. you had to sprint. Uh, but you were several miles away. Uh, give me a perception check, you and Robert. 27. You're muted. Robert. No, now, 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 right now, right now. <laughs> uh, you don't see shit, Leaf. Uh, you notice a cloud on the road several miles away, like a large number of people are going down this dirt track. Uh, it appears as though you're going to have some company here. Are they headed towards us or away from us? It appears as though they're headed towards you. In the direction that we're going. Uh, well, to get back to the yeah. roadhouse, yes. Okay. Now, I'm a point. Can... I'll tell Robert and suggest that maybe it'd be better if we get off the road for at least till we get past this bunch. Yeah. I agree. So you're okay. gonna let them. You're gonna let them pass and head to the roadhouse, and you're gonna come up behind them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nice. Um, uh, you know what? Uh, Robert, give me a percentage roll, please. Come on, roll percentage. I'm working on it. Find that damn mouse. You set these up so it doesn't cross. Well. I didn't know they got to go back the other way. Uh, let's see here. I rolled a 10. <laughs> You're so screwed. Uh, <laughs> I would like to charm them. <laughs> you guys get off the side of the road and I assume hide in the cops of trees or something of that nature. Yeah. Uh, as you notice, uh, maybe a half hour of waiting, uh, a large troop of people are coming down the road. Uh, some of them are veering off and headed north towards the ravine or the mountain region. Uh, about, luckily, 10% are headed into the ravine mountain region. Go ahead and give me an insight check, both of you, please. Um, I roll a natural 20. Nice. Plus 8, 28. 16. Uh, both of you realize that these guys are dressed as delvers or explorers or Damn it. adventuring types. Uh, and you can overhear them talk about everything they're going to do when they find uh, the dragon's treasure. Told you, son of a bitch. I think it's time for some intimidation and... Uh, There's a lot of them. <laughs> we're not going to intimidate anybody. We need to get back to the other guys. I, I only need one. <laughs> and trust me to your leader. He'll never return to them again. In, in order to get back to your associates, uh, you're going to have to go overland at a very brisk pace uh, I'll turn back and I'll turn back into a warhorse so he can ride me back. 
Okay. Uh, who wants to roll off against me to see if the troop sees you guys? I will. We'll use what? a 20 this time. 20. 17. 18. Ooh, nicely done. Uh, you believe, Robert, as you look in the background, that uh, this troop of soon-to-be-dead guys uh, probably did not witness you. And you put the spurs to leave and have Hey, him some charge. bitch, watch up spurs! <laughs> and have him charge across the tundra. Uh, leave straight up D20, anything but a one, and you'll be fine. One and you hit a go for all. Fourteen. You are fine. You speed forward. You will be there right around noon. Uh, back to Felix. Uh, Felix, give me a perception check. Thirteen. Uh, you notice an unusual pair of individuals dressed in black. They are halflings. Uh, they have white collars, similar to what a minister would wear, uh, but they carry uh, black leather satchels. Uh, they have identical hats. One is male, one is female, almost flight attendant looking. Uh, and they are unusual for a variety of reasons, uh, but you notice they are riding twin mules and they have just arrived in Triorki. Uh, they dismount and go up to one of the individuals here that you've met, uh, most likely the captain, uh, and in hushed tones discuss something. Uh, the captain of the watch kind of points north and sees you and then points at you as well. The pair look at you and take interest and begin to walk their mules over towards you. Yes. Hello, you know. friend. Hello. How are you gentlemen doing? Well, I am a woman. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Gertrude, Gertrude Hipstick, and this is my brother, Gary. Uh, Gary. We, Bounty hunters. We understand that you are part of the troop headed to rehabilitate the roadhouse. Why, yes, indeed, I am. My f f f friends and I are... See, I just back the end of that corner every time. <laughs> yes, my friends and I are assembling a crew to rehabilitate the roadhouse. Well, that is fantastic and good to hear. I, among all, are very appreciative of that. However, um, we are from the Roadhouse Guild and we are missing some documentation for this. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have it, would you? No, unfortunately I do not have it on me. My friend named Copius Bitters, he is the one that controls the deeds and all the documents to the Roadhouse. He's the one that you're looking for. Copious bitters. Would he be a gnome that feels quite happy with himself? <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, he would. <laughs> oh, well, that is excellent. That is excellent. We look forward in uh, speaking with the uh, master bitters. Uh, it will be. <laughs> Right did, you, did you pronounce that right? <laughs> yes, uh, Master uh, I, Bitters. Now, why are you still in Triorki? Uh, are you waiting for your friends? Are they around that we may speak with them? No, I am still here because I am watching our mounts while they are I have to. recruiting People. I'm well, watching a, our mounts. A, a good labor force is an, an important aspect to successfully running a roadhouse. I won't bore you with the details, uh, but if this is going on, it seems as though you and your friends have taken leaps and bounds to go ahead and expedite the recovery. We are grateful. As a matter of fact, we are headed that way. Would you be ready to join us or are you waiting for additional support here?
why, yes, all that I need is uh, someone else. I just need to recruit someone else to watch over my mounts while I tack up. If you give me a few minutes, I will join you on our way to the road. <laughs> we will be in the tavern to wet our whistles and grab a quick bite to eat. Meet us there. Wet, wet our whistles? Oh, hold on, hold on. There was a tavern? I thought the town was burned to cinders. Oh, uh, you could ask Man Fang and Hoggis about the tavern because they never got their <laughs> shit kicked in. <laughs> I'm pretty we were sure fine. that. Had Felix known there was a tavern, I don't think he would have been standing out in the open. And you, you missed the whole jaguar slash mountain lion slash puma incident that Leaf turned into. That Man oh, Fang met some clowns. We he got hitched. It's I got I thing. got I didn't want to, but apparently I joined a cult somehow. The, the insane clown, clown posse. Yep. <laughs> oh. yeah, at least it wasn't the Columbia Record Club. You just gave him an idea. Uh, that, that is. Yeah, I can you know what? Now. I got the prank. Is gonna be <laughs> oh, oh, poor I'm going to go back <laughs> to the people that were sorting through the ashes and ask them if any. I'm going to try to recruit a stable boy to watch over our mounts for the next couple of days while we mm. travel out and travel back. 12 against me. Six. Seven. Woo. Lucky seven. Uh, you did find a, a young man, a late teenager, early teens, or early 20s. Uh, he will do it, but uh, uh, last day we got eaten by something you guys brought in, didn't he? I'm going to need money in advance. Oh, of course. How much money in advance? How many animals are we talking? What, boy, you can't count? Look, there's just these few. So are you taking any of them? I'm taking one of them. I'm taking <laughs> mine. She's not able to travel uh, yet. Oh, uh, no, he's got buttercups, so she can travel. Uh, Copiuses cannot. She uh, needs about a year off to recover. So he... Uh, So, 10? Uh, you counting chickens, bud. Four? How about 10? The chickens don't count as a full mount. They only count as a partial mount. I get the eggs. <laughs> you can have... Okay, but you got to mount them. <laughs> Isn't that what got us into this problem? <laughs> oh, I don't want to know about that. Sure, you can have the eggs while we're gone, and I will pay you three gold pieces. Deal, sucker. <laughs> He's going to make somehow bank off of these three eggs. Go to two gold pieces. Card laid, card played. Somehow there's going to be like an emerald inside each one of these eggs that he's going to sell for a thousand gold. What is this uh, this stable boy's name? I'm going to ask him his name. Idjit. <laughs> That's your. Is that Idget. what your It's been a long life for him. This one's been this one's been there for three weeks. Idjit. The midget. Idget. <laughs> He's a halfling, thank you. <laughs> they're not midgets, they're little people. And he has a sister. Uh -oh. Gidget. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I need to? I'm going to walk up to Gidget and I'm going to get really close to him and say, Now, Gidget, we'll be back in just a few days. And you saw what my friends did to the last. Or you know about my friends and what we've done to the other. Sounds like you're implicating them. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying these state our mounts are very precious to us. We would hate for something to happen to them. We're Felix placed. I'm placing them in your party. <laughs> got it. Uh, for three gold piece, sir. You got it. It's gonna be funny. Buttercup, Buttercup is gonna give birth again, and then that birth aberration is gonna eat the next stable boy. It's gonna be this well, brutal. He doesn't cycle. know that. <laughs> uh, back at the construction zone, Copious, uh, Hagas, and Manfang, uh, the 
crew that you've assembled have been divvied off into different groups. Uh, who wants to D12 against me? I will. Five. Wow. Look at that. That's a 12. You hey, see that? It is a 12. Hey, you gave him the dice. So don't shake your head. Oh, yeah. I thought yeah, I thought he said four. <laughs> I thought he said four. <laughs> I thought he said four. Okay, currently wow. the division of labor and the teams uh, selected are working together. Uh, there is a mixture of halfling, human, hobgoblin, uh, but at this time, everybody seems to accept their duties as a sign. There is no racial animosity. Everybody is going off. Uh, you have a group foraging number, uh, group foraging uh, the debris. You have a group hunting for food and water. Uh, and then you have another group uh, taking stakes and string and trying to figure out how the old roadhouse looked. Uh, some of the people in that group are hobgoblin. Others are actual workers uh, that used to work there. And some are tree or key townspeople. So uh, you have a, a mixture or a cluster of abilities there. But what kind of, what kind of cluster? Yes. <laughs> fudge. It's a fudge cluster. Fudge cluster. Uh, but everything seems to be going okay. Uh, Heine uh, is rather proud of herself. Copious, you notice that she is uh, busy tasking the different groups and setting off. Uh, she comes back to you guys and says, okay, bosses, uh, where, where's the basic equipment? <laughs> What the uh, meaning like shovels, picks, this is it should have been in the wagon. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, sends a couple people over there. They produce the shovels uh, and right. the basic supplies. Uh, none of that was lost. Uh, all of it has made it here. Uh, then Hugo Boss comes up and he goes, I've delivered your shit. I'm ready to go. Uh, Copious can see the side of his wagon now, right? Yes. Does it have a giant picture? Yeah, tiny letters. Uh, no, no. That seventy-five percent of the wagon side has to be Copious's likeness and Bullpetter's Brewery, just like behind Robert, right there. Uh, he says that is seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent of the wagon side. He, uh, he grabs a hobgoblin passing by and goes, hey, is that sign 75%? And the hobgoblin looks at it and goes, sure. <laughs> sure. He goes, hey, I, I'm leaving. I, I don't I think, know what to I think you. someone should stay at the construction site because this is a big mix of races. I'll stay. Just in I mean, case. I got nothing better to do. I, I am overdue in light reach. I have to go back there. I'm going to remind him of his contract as he's leaving. I'll get right on that. He just needs a little more precise. And he, he throws his hat on there, still with the burnt to a crisp ostrich feather. Uh, the hat is all dented and rumpled like it's been in a John Wayne movie. Uh, and you could tell he's probably not going to be. <laughs> yeah, I'm tell him, said, looking good, Hugo. He uh, stomps off, gets in. Give me a perception check. Is that for Copious? That's for Copious, Haggis, and Banfang. Oh, me as well. Well, how, how low can I go and have this have any meaning at all? <laughs> Sixteen. What was that for? Perception. Yep. If so I didn't have the nine for me. Yeah. What was it? What was copious? Oh, less than 10. Nice. Uh, you and Manfang uh, go back to the division of labor, making sure that the hobgoblins aren't smashing each other with the shovels or smashing some of the human slash halfling health. Uh, but Haggis uh, is playing with his duck, trying to get him to fly, and notices about a half a mile away as Hugo Boss starts to disappear over the horizon, a small figure runs out of cops of trees and leaps into Hugo Boss's wagon. 
<laughs> so wait, 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 wait. Like, I feel like, we like warm about this, how small are we talking? Like, like fin- Phineas small? Like half lane size small. Okay. Um so how far away is Hugo? Half mile. Okay, um, is my horse nearby? Yeah, it's a Donkey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, 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 I, I say, um, to nearest, so like copious and, um, Manfang, I say, um, something just went in Hugo's wagon from the tree line. Uh, did I, it, was this directed at copious? It was, yeah. Uh, copious is going to look at the, the halfling and just something or someone. What are you talking about? And it, something <laughs> went in the thing. Probably an aberration. Hugo Balls well, is probably dead. Probably an aberration. <laughs> What's what I'm going to Did it have arms and legs? Did it have arms? Yeah, it did. Well, then it's not the aberration because the aberration looked like an egg with legs. So. Well, either if it is arms and legs, it's either an aberration or something that shouldn't be in the wagon. Either way, it's something that shouldn't be in was the way. Ha- was it a halfling? No, we, I don't know. But something went in the wagon from the tree well, line. Unless you have a giant blue whale so you can catch up with him. It, hmm. I, Sounds to me like so, somebody's been in a damn catnip. I don't, I don't know what to do with this, Haggis. I, I don't have a mount. Hugo Boss has the wagon. Um, I sprint using my legs. I don't need a mount. Sure. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, he takes off like uh, Steve Austin, bionic man. Uh, Leaf, Robert, uh, as the sun rises high in the sky, uh, you come up and over, up and over, up to the top. And there is just a beehive of activity at the site of the old roadhouse. Several groups are everywhere, including there to greet you. They're uh, cutting down trees uh, and dragging them back. It it looks like uh, shit's getting done here. Uh, Wickedy split. Uh, I'll, hit, I'll try to find uh, Copious. Uh, you can't miss him. He's in the managerial lounge yeah. uh, with Man Fang, uh, sucking back some of uh, Volbitter's best. Uh, he is. Uh, he, those two are directly in the center. Um, and and you notice that there's one of the nicer pieces of fabric has been put over like a, a like a, a parasol above, above us as we're sitting there drinking. That's true. Is That's what we're we're a hobgoblin with like a giant leaf fan. Oh, I'm right up to where he's at and stop. Okay. Whoa, Mr. Steed. <laughs> I'm looking at a leaf with the bottle. I said, do you want something to drink? There's one, two, three. I'm turning back into me. Okay. Uh, you, you, two of your associates are back. Hooray! I'll go up to Copious and tell him what we saw on the road that's headed this way and the, about the other group that's headed to look for the dragon horse. So, uh, if you tell Copious this, and yep. if they pass Haggis sprinting down the road towards Hugo Boss? No, he's going the other way. Uh, he, going- will, he will meet Felix, Gertrude, and okay. Gary. So, I, I'm going to tell uh, Leaf, uh, honestly... I've just been waiting for the gang to get back together so we can get the hell out of here because Copious is not about to do physical labor. Uh, at that moment in time, Heineken walks by and she goes, that's no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a great job, Heine. Keep it up. Kiss You're the best. Ass, boss. <laughs> I'm going to reiterate to Copious again, you know, we need to get to that horde and get it before somebody else does. We just need to get out of this roadhouse before somebody gets here that knows us. Well, well, really easy to do. We just head north. Yeah. You know, whenever we find any big amounts of gold, we always either lose it or get it stolen from us. That's why it needs to be invested right. immediately back into the roadhouse. Frankie, the DM giveth and the DM taketh the hell away. The yeah, dice he, still. He, the dice. No, he takes away a lot more than he giveth. Uh, copious and Man Fang perception chuck. This went so well last time. Oh, uh, 22. (laughs) 
Man Fang. Oh, I have to roll. I forgot. It doesn't matter. You know, it's it's. <laughs> it's, it's is it a one? It's it's a seven. Uh, copious uh, pursuant to the information delivered by Leaf and Robert, you look into the distance to the west, and you also see a cloud of dust headed this way. Go ahead and roll a percentage percentile dice, please. Uh, 19%. <laughs> uh, you guys are screwed. <laughs> <laughs> the common refrain. Uh, so about 29% of this massive group have f flittered, splintered off. Uh, they start to crest the hill. And uh, Copious, if this place were in business, you would be making a mint right now. Uh, because there is almost uh, oh, 71 people headed your way. Wait a minute, Copious? I think this is a group effort, or this shit will burn right back down to the ground. I don't know what you... What are you I'm not saying anything. Don't let the DMs screw you. Come on. Be fair. I get paid in meals. So, but uh, Copious has seized the crowd coming this way, and he's going to immediately go over to Heine and say, Sir, are we ready for business? Oh, yeah, everything's just PG keen. Kitchen's all set up, got the latrine stuck and everything. Are you shitting me? We've been working four hours, boss. <laughs> she have, but, hey, I'm looking at her going, do you have beer or not? You had a beer wagon full of beer. You had a beer wagon full of kegs of beer. Do we have it or not? We don't have to provide anything else. We just need to be able to have somebody stick their uh, mouth under a faucet at this point and charge them a ton of, a ton of gold. Yeah, that we can do. All right. And so, the, the raiding parties are coming in with uh, at least one deer, one elk, and a buttload of rabbits. What, no, no pigs? No pigs. Damn it. Well, if we can get that set up and start moving. And I'm you know what? Yeah, Hang on. Leaf, D12 against me. Let's see if they caught a pig. All right. Nine. Ah! Ten. <laughs> I got a small pig too. You can do a barbecue. Go ahead, ah. Copious. Pig, pig lizard or pig? Pig. Oh, I'm pig. Not gonna, yeah. that, that pig lizard's not going to show up easy for you. <laughs> you ain't cracking that egg, baby. You ain't cracking that egg. I'm, hey, I just want to put it on display at the new roadhouse. So, as of right now, I'm talking with Heineken. We know the first. Their first thing to do is try to establish to get the big tent up as a basic place, right? So they serve food and perfect. We're going to, I'm going to converse with my compatriots here. That's what I want to say. That's another word for not saying friends. Ah, yes. Uh, like that. Um, and with Leaf and, and Robert and Manfang and say, listen, we're missing Haggis who went east and Felix is still back at the Triorki, do we want to head north? I would like to get out of here before that big crowd gets here. Or do we try to run back towards Triorki to get the rest of the, the group before we head we out? Ne we need to get the rest of the group, I'm sure. All right, well, let's... Over to Felix. Uh, Felix, <laughs> you, you have gathered and put the tack on Buttercup. Uh, she is more than happy to get the hell out of Dodge. Do you go to the tavern and pick up Gertrude and Gary, or do you uh, make bank and get the hell out? Uh, I kind of want to go to the tavern and clean up a little bit. I've sure. been sleeping. Oh, Jesus. I've been sleeping in a stable for all night. And, you know, who knows the last time hey, I had a shower. That's probably, that's probably cleaner than the other places you slept. I, you never know. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we, yeah, we do. It's on YouTube. We know. <laughs> oh, never mind. See, yeah, this is what happens when you leave them alone. Uh, I'm going to go to the tavern. Uh, you see Gary and Gertrude. Uh, they seem to be, I don't know, as happy as they can be. Think uh, Amish types. Uh, very stoic. Uh, and they're like, are, are we ready to go? Uh, yes. Give me 10 minutes. Let me... Can we, get you, can we get you a beer or two? Uh, that is mighty kind of you. Yes, you could. Just It's early. We, we want you to be well-rested and well-fed. Uh, sure, we'll, we'll go ahead and take care of you. The, 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 the big one. I want the sure. big one. We, we got you. Perfect. 
Felix is going to step out back right quick, I look for a bucket of water, wash his face, comb his hair, you know, do whatever he has to do. Make get the level. tiny scissors. Tiny little scissors. <laughs> well, a tiny comb, if you recall. Oh, yeah. Get so me a thing, skate. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> You walk in and they have each bought you uh, huge pints. I hope these aren't the huge cups, as I as want to like them and drink them. Ha- ha- halfling oh. pints or, or you know normal people pints. Normal people pints. Uh, go ahead and give me two constitution checks uh, to see how you like them. And one constitution save. Apparently word of your surgery has spread. Uh, a six and a natural one. Oh, Woo! These things taste funny to you. Oh boy! I just but, but you know what? They wet your whistle. Uh, you feel good. You feel talkative. Uh, you, you know you're gregarious. This this is you know these guys are not bad. These are nice yeah. people. Uh, and and you know what? They took care of you. They bought it on their tab. I mean, hey, you know, hey. and uh, they look at each other and smile. Look at you and smile. Are we ready to go? Yeah, well, what's, what's the hurry? Why do you guys want to get over there so quickly? Well, what, uh, dude, daylight's where are you guys headed? In the back. We're headed to the roadhouse. They usually have a That's your final destination? Well, we have to speak with uh, Mr. Bitters uh, about uh, some procedural oh, paperwork. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I forgot all of that. You know what? How about we get you another one for the road, though? That would be very generous of you. Gary, uh, Gary goes over to the uh, barkeep, brings back three pints, uh, and are told that they are allowed to take those uh, beverages with them. So they head out, get on their mules, and uh, lead on our new friend. Okay, I shall lead on. Uh, the six uh, was your first drink. The one was your second uh you don't need to roll this time uh you are just chatty kathy uh <laughs> they they are asking you very basic questions who are you where'd you come from and you are you just have diarrhea of the mouth you're just ah oh, well you know well we came out of crag whips and we stole shit from the tabaxi and almost get killed by the turtles and yeah, we found a way here and got to light reach. About that time, uh, they mentioned the fact that they heard light reach was destroyed. But give me a perception check. Now we're gonna have to kill these two bastards. Yeah, and and Felix. <laughs> Felix oh, good. Just get an accident. I think these guys want to help with the roadhouse. Casual there team. is a corpse on the road, and when I say corpse. I mean a dismembered corpse uh, that appears to have been feasted on by maybe a drag. I mean, my, this thing my, is my baby and entrails everywhere. <laughs> uh, and in, in the uh, the sunlight, it's uh, uh, putrid uh, death or something uh, from Adventure Sense that uh, really brings the stank to it. Uh, and the uh, pair, Gertrude and Gary, uh, are curious and dismount and look at it, and they point out that they have never seen such carnage in their life. I'm going to say to them, I thought that you've been to the Roadhouse. Are, didn't you say you're from the Roadhouse Commission? The Guild. Guild? Yes, Guild. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you've never seen something like this? This is horrific. We're uh, urbanites. Oh, oh. Uh, have you ever been to what used to be Smidge's Roadhouse? Of course. We make routine inspections of the business. Okay. Gary, Gary uh, taps Gertrude on the shoulder and points behind you. As, I, as they're doing that, I'm going to say, can I see some of your papers? Most assuredly. Uh, Gertrude uh, begins to go through her satchel while Gary is doing that. Haggis, give me a perception check. Natural 20. 
Uh, you are winded, uh, and you're just taking a break. You've been chasing down damn Hugo Boss, uh, but since he's in a wagon pulled by a team, uh, you are not quite as fleet as foot as you thought you were, uh, because you may or may not have been spotted. As you try and gather your breath, you look over, ah, you see Felix talking to two weirdos on the, uh, do I take note of the black leather? Oh yeah, yeah it's clear. <laughs> these these guys look like they're in the Matrix or something. I'm uh, black leather. Like I mean, just yeah. And they seem to be huddled next to something in the road. Uh, you don't really recognize that it's Felix, but you do recognize Buttercup since you're intimately familiar with him. You also notice that Buttercup's the only one with him. Hmm, that kind of stinks. But um, and, you know, and one I'm, of the Matrix dudes is kind of looking at you. Well, I'm just gonna walk for right now to to them. Walk, hands on my head, breathing in and out. You know, uh, Felix asks for some orange slices. She produces the uh, badge of authenticity along with several documents, of paperwork uh, indicating that she is Mulder and or Scully, and uh, she is clearly the documentation's show even to your eyes that have forged many a document uh, uh they're probably the real deal uh and gary goes is this a friend of yours this guy with the entrails no i've never seen him before I feel like- behind you i'm finally <laughs> gonna turn around <laughs> it's Hoggins. oh yeah that, yeah that is mr crapstain that's my uh, friend felix would he be responsible for something like this? Perhaps then? No. Now he remember, you're, you're, you're feeling good. Has he yeah. ever done anything like this before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do this kind of shit all the time. You aren't in any danger, though, right? You guys? Yeah. From the commission? Yeah. No, 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 no. You're here to help us. You're going to help us get the roadhouse back established. Exactly. We don't Uh, kill friends. Haggis, you wander up and uh, the two gently nod their head to you. And Felix is just as happy as he was in the pink house. So you can draw your own conclusions what these two, (laughs) this relationship with the two leather clad individuals. Can Can I tell that Felix may or may not be intoxicated? It's going to be a high insight roll, but go ahead. Um, 13. Yeah, you aren't sure. You, like, like I said, this is just like when you leave the pink house. He's pretty happy. <laughs> yeah. But I think I'm more talkative this time. So He's, he's very talkative. He doesn't have a ball in his mouth this time. Like, Correct. Hey, no, hey, no. So good to <laughs> see you. And do you point that out to him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gertrude and Gary look at each other. <laughs> so, um, the, these two guys, I ask, who, who are you? Why, uh, this is these brother, people, Gary. they're from the commission. They met me down at uh, Triorki. I woke up in the stable. I paid some guy to watch our mounts for us. They bought me a few beers, and we're heading over to the roadhouse. They're going to help us rebuild it. You, you guys are going to... So you got... You're, so you guys are going to join the roadhouse. Like you got, you're going to be hired by us, right? Is that what you're trying to say? Your associates a, a smidge off. Uh, we are from the guild, the uh, roadhouse guild, uh, the commission, if you will. Uh, we are here to speak with. Do you, are you Mr. Bitters? He's yes. much too big to be bitter. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely bitter. Bitters is that short guy. Oh, oh, theirs is a little smaller. A little Thank you, Mr. Felix. We appreciate that. Uh, we are uh, destined to speak with your associate, Mr. Betters. Uh, there, there seems to be a small paperwork issue that needs to be addressed. Nothing major. Well, he's below me, so you can talk <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that's excellent. Uh, do you have the HR slash six form? I don't have it with me. Uh, is it in your camp or? Well, um, yeah. Oh, it is uh, with Copius because he uh, manages the documents. 
Oh, he's a he's very more, he's more he's, of a bookkeeper type. He's kind of a slash white collar, blue collar kind of guy. Oh, okay. So yeah, a pink collar, a secretary, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, he uh, likes to wear collars. Are you guys yeah. close by? Um, we are just at the roadhouse itself. It's still a couple hours away. Are you just out? I was um, trying. I was chasing down a wagon. Oh, did you guys lose a wagon? Yeah, something like that. But um, so, uh, you guys going to come to Roadhouse with us? Oh yes, we must uh, see Secretary Bitters. Could um, could I see your guys' documents? Because oh, I know feel I know Felix saw it, but Felix is not. I I, I find it. Amusing that you don't trust your good friend, uh, Mr. Felix. He has been nothing but a gem in our eyes. He has been fantastic, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. Gertrude whips out her documentation, and sure enough, she's got the seal of approval. She looks legit. All right. To the roadhouse it is. Uh, are you going to walk? Because you're pretty tired. Yeah. Um, can one of you guys take a break on the, off the mule? And I don't know, Is there any room? You guys have any I, i'm afraid this these are company mounts and uh there's a strict policy of uh, no hitchers uh but perhaps felix can uh put you on his uh unusual mount it is actually a zonk it yeah so i'm gonna get on felix's mount there's you say they're a zonky aren't those from the um western lands Yes. Wow. Well, Felix was telling us about uh, the brave tales of how uh, you guys managed to uh, free a lot of problems up at Cragwich. Actually, we are we, we are noble adventurers. We oh. stop crime. We save cities. We are. Yeah, I, we do. I would say you are unusual adventurers. Then uh, they uh, they head on out. Couple hours later, uh, you guys can see a beehive of activity because I'm just going to keep using that again uh, as you come closer and closer to Smidgey's Roadhouse. Uh, everybody else, go ahead and roll perception to see if you see the four amigos headed this way. Team. <clears throat> Perception? 14. I'm the only one that I think rolled. Yeah. What do you need? <laughs> a perception check. Sorry. Manfang perception. 20. Manfang and Robert. Robert, one. I think you just got here, Dad. We're rolling perception. I heard. I got a 14. Look at that. I got a 14. Uh, Leaf, Ryder's coming in. Just two peas in a pot. Did I make anything out looking at him? Uh, with a 20? Yeah, you notice that there's a zonkey approaching with two uh, passengers and uh, two mules for Sister Sarah and her brother headed this way. Uh, people dressed in black leather clothing with a white collar look very, I don't know, gothic. <laughs> <laughs> black uh, leather. You I'll know, tell, uh, we could use some staff with that. Whoever's standing next to me. Copia's probably what, Robert. What's coming in and what to write. So I'll ask if, did Haggis have a zonkey with him? Felix, go ahead and roll me another constitution check, please. 18? Yeah, you aren't so chatty Kathy anymore. I got kind of a slight headache. Um, and uh, Gertrude asks you if you need another drink. Yes, I do. <laughs> As luck would have it, I have a special flask. I believe you might be familiar with the contents. Uh, tosses it over to you. I'm going to smell it first and say, well, what are the con Do I recognize the contents from the smell? Uh, what is your product, Copious? Uh, the best is... Uh, Volbert Black Label. Is it bourbon or? 
Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a whiskey. Yes. Swill. Uh, you smell a whiskey esque uh, kind it's of thing, but swill. It, it's got uh, like cherries or some kind of berry scent to it. Very mm. pleasing. Mm. If your girl, okay. I'll take a few a guzzle of that and see how I feel after that. Roll again. Oh, didn't know I had to roll. Huh? <laughs> a two. Well, when you say guzzle, well, I mean, I'm not going to take a nip of it. Come on. Haggis, as you're riding behind Felix, uh, you see him just throw one back, uh, hands back the flask, and he's like, oh, look, look, it's my friends right there. See the short one there? That's uh, that's that's copious. That's the one you want to talk to right there. As uh, the mules do not accelerate their pace, they come in slow, uh, just like the zonkey. Uh, you guys can now hear Felix. Hey, guys, friends, I got friends. <laughs> uh, Gertrude and Gary are just stone-faced. Uh, as they approach. Uh, a few minutes later, you guys notice Haggis is uh, riding. Uh, I can't say that. Yes. He's riding Side behind. Saddle. Side <laughs> saddle? Well, I was going to use a different term. <laughs> Shotgun? Just in case Bitch. he falls off. <laughs> uh, but Felix is just robust and chatty Kathy. Uh, and he's like, and this is Robert, and this is Leaf, and uh, these guys, oh, you ought to see what they do with their blades and their magic. It is just incredible. We'd be these, screwed if two bounty hunters came. <laughs> these guys are just awesome. They're just awesome. So if there's a problem, you just hang back and let us do it because we'll kill them. Anything that I will look at copious to say he's drunk or in a scum. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, cast a spell, I'm gonna cast silence over Felix. Sure, that, that area. But these guys, trust me, these guys, these guys, they can kill shit. They can kill because we actually killed the red dragon. You know, I'm just saying, uh, silence spell is gone. Uh, Gertrude and Gary stop their mules. Uh, well, hello, Felix's friends. How are you guys? Oh, they're still riding. Yeah, they were still riding. Uh, Everybody has arrived. Speaking. So, yeah. How are you? Uh, Mr. Bitters, if I'm not mistaken, says Gary. How are you doing? Uh, Copius is looking around. He's going, it's Vol Bitters. Felix is like, ah, just call him copious. Yeah, just call him copious. It's fine. That's copious. <laughs> That's right. Mr. Volbetters, I presume. Uh, copious or not, yeah. My name is Gary. This is my sister Gertrude. We are, are from, halflings, right? Yes. We're from the Roadhouse Guild. Uh, perhaps you've heard of us. Uh, since your friends have already made it clear how you do business, Gertrude whips out her badge of authority as well as documentation showing that they are indeed with the Roadhouse Guild. Uh, we understand that you are the uh, new proprietor of the Roadhouse. Uh, there, I represent the interests of, a, of several businessmen who have procured this, this site to establish the reestablish the Roadhouse, yes. Oh, that is excellent news. So you are, uh, you have the ability to go ahead and speak upon their behalf, I take it. Uh, I think that the consortium will probably have to take a vote for any serious business matters. But if you are asking questions, I can certainly relay those back to the consortium. That is outstanding. Now, I, I understand you're just a lowly secretary. I'm not talking over your head. <laughs> <am I? laughs> so, you know, you know, copious has trigger words, right? Yep, I sure do. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, you do. <laughs> you see his his big gnomish ears going bright red and his nose going red and his teeth are gritted as he said, no, I I can understand. What's your question? Could you well, show I, me your documentation my, my, again? My, my apologies. Uh, your associates here pointed out uh, this one particularly in points at Haggis says that you, you're just kind of the secretarial aspect of this. I still have uh, my duck with me, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the duck wasn't running. You had to carry the duck like the Heisman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, copious, both of them, whip out their badges and their paperwork, very nonchalant, very businesslike, no emotion on either face. Uh, the leather, uh, it's black leather, and in this sun, you'd think they'd be hot, but... It's the men in black. Yeah. 
They, they aren't doing just anything. go study them and go, and, and again, where's your office at? <clears throat> Our office is in Thornfield in the capital. Of course, oh, I, I've been meaning to go there. Is it nice this time of year? It's a little bit hot and uh, the humidity keeps the uh, scent uh, a little bit putrid. However, uh, a new business has uh, opened up uh, from the coastline. It's called Odd Fish Games and uh, they are currently working on the aroma problem. See that nice plug there? That's yeah, that was nice pretty plug. sweet. Yeah, uh, I, I hope they rec I recognize that. Yeah. Felix, uh, you are just chatty. Hey guys, what's going on? Have you killed anybody today? You know, why are there hobgoblins here? I thought we killed these guys. These guys are scum. Uh, some of the hobgoblins are like, this guy doing? He means well. Heineken approaches. Uh, Taps Copius on the shoulder. Uh, hey, boss, uh, we got a small problem over here. These guys are trying to undercut us on the alcohol, uh, which catches Gertrude's attention and says, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask this question, but you aren't uh, selling things along the road currently, are you? Oh, uh, so I'm going to turn to Heineken and say, who are you referring to that's selling alcohol on the road that's trying, you know, who, who is she referring to? Three, she doesn't get your gist. Uh, you told me to bring the wagon around, let them stick their head underneath the spout, drink, and then pay. <laughs> dice giveth, dice taketh away. Oh, Heineken, you were such a good GM. Uh, Gary and uh, Gertrude uh, excuse themselves. It, uh, Mr. Volbitters, it appears as though uh, you seem to have some business matters to take care of. We're just going to bill about here. Uh, let, I, I, I have to insist that we have an escort for you as you mill about. I wouldn't want you to get injured on a active Felix raises his hand. I'll take you around. I'll show you around. Uh, I'll, I'll go behind him. Leave. Leaf and Haggis, could you please? Yeah, well, not a problem. We'll take care of this. Yeah. Thank Felix you. immediately says, hey, I've got to show you the spot where I got tied up and had a ball gag in my mouth. You guys are going to love this. You can't really see it because it was on the second Felix, floor, Felix. but I'll show you the general Felix. location. Come on, follow me. Hey, guys, I'm how's it going? There. Make sure you make two levels here. <laughs> I, I, I time for Felix to take the story. Go yeah, tell Felix. that work crew. Felix <laughs> needs to take a nap. Felix, give me another contract. Natural 20. Uh, uh, what is it? 13. 13 uh, you're, you're picking up on some vibes from Leaf and Copious that uh, you need to shut it down a little bit. But Copious says go tell the story to some of the workers. So eh, uh, you can turn to Gary and Gertrude and apologize and tell them that they're in the best hands because worst case scenario, Leaf turns into a giant blue whale and smashes them. But you'll be fine. Blue whale, the apex predator. You got it. Uh, Gertrude and Gary, uh, very nonchalantly, still have their uh, bag over their shoulder. Uh, Mr. Leaf, was it? Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, Haggis, uh, please uh, show us around. Show us uh, what you've uh, accomplished, please. We Noticing your a black <laughs> leather attire. Maybe we yeah. should go to the dark area we're building so we're going to revolutionize roadhouses to a whole new industry black leather and I sort of elbow nudge them mm. mm -hmm. uh, well we'll worry about the paperwork here in a few minutes shall we go ahead gentlemen show us around show us, uh, show us what you've been I'm look, right, look right and say look I'm not a freaking tour guide uh, Mr. Vol Bitters, the secretary. Uh, Mr. Vol Bitters doesn't tell me what to do. Okay. Uh, noted. Our apologies. We'll go ahead and show ourselves around. And, and that's what we'll keep an to, eye on you. They proceed to walk into the construction zone, uh, look around. Uh, one of them, Gary, reaches into his satchel and takes out a piece of parchment, ink quill, and has like an ink well in his hand. 
and he starts to take copious notes. Uh, copious, you and Heineken may exchange pleasantries if you wish. She's very insistent that you take a look at this problem because these adventuring types are starting to become a nuisance. Yep, I'll go with Heineken, figure out what's going on, and ask if Manfang will come with me. <clears throat> sure, I need something to do. Uh, you uh, walk over there, and where your covered wagon is, there's a spigot on the third barrel. Two empty barrels are on the grass, and these guys, kind of barbarian-looking things, are uh, arguing with some of the workers, including one of the hobgoblins. Uh, so it appears as though there is a uh, dust up in progress. Kill him in front of in broad daylight in front of witnesses. <laughs> you gotta set an example. Sure, he puts the murder in murder hobo. That's Damn true. Right. <laughs> that there's no murder without you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I so, like that. Yeah, so there. Uh, <laughs> no, Johnny on the spot, man. I just thought of that. Yeah, sell that T-shirt. Uh, you can't have murder without you. Uh, there are two barbarian types dressed in, uh, you know, uh, loincloths and nope. shit like that. Uh, they seem to have quite their fill as their broad chest and rippling muscles glisten under the foam of the ale. It looks like some kind of Cindy Crawford Pepsi commercial going on. Uh, Copious will walk over, see what, and ask, start asking questions, see what the issue is. Man, thing, you stand behind me and look menacing. Get ready to smack somebody. Uh, you walk up, and the hobgoblin has had just about enough. And in broken speech, remember, this will be uh, the dad, the boss, the warrior, uh, sticks his finger into the barbarian's chest and boom. Mm, gives him a push back. The barbarian takes great offense at this as the other one continues to dunk his head underneath the spigot. Copious, you step up and I assume you address them as to what the issue is mm -hmm. and the barbarian pushes you out of the way and sticks yep. his finger in the hobgoblin's face and asks if he wants to go. Did, uh, did I see him touch Copious? Well, he didn't take you with you, so no, give me a perception I'm check. I'm, I'm supposed <laughs> to look check, Robert. Perception check. I thought he took Manfang to look menacing. I did take, I did take Manfang with me, though. Okay. I rolled 20. Yeah, you see this from your position, but it's going to take you a round to get over there. Um, uh, unless you want to use magic. I want to cast a spell. This is well, here. What can, you ma can you magic teleport oh. over there? Copious, wild magic and hope. Copious, Robert, Manfang, Barbarian, and Hobgoblin. Everybody rolls initiative. Twenty-four, <laughs> eight, seventeen. I rolled a pair of ones. <laughs> seventeen and eight. So twenty-four, Copious. You are up first. You've been shoved aside and these two barbarians seem to be the root cause of the problem but the hobgoblin is probably going to take care of that but you're up first well so the guy who touched me i don't like to be manhandled so i'm going to reach out and touch him with a uh, vampiric touch and so i got 19 easily okay. So he's going to take three die six damage. I guess it's on now. It's which, 10 points of necrotic damage, half of which comes back to Copius to make him feel flush and feel good. And Copius is going to stand up and say, you son of a bitch, don't pick on my workers. I'll put you down like a dog. And then he zaps him. Why don't um, we just kill them when they get here and then take their gold and <laughs> not let them take our stock? How this about that? I'm this you, sounds a lot like Dust the Dog. Are so, you going to dance for him? Yeah. So, 17. Robert, you're up. Uh, you see the one barbarian's arm wither. And of course, you no, know, copious the way you do, uh, his touch would cause an automatic withering of anything. Oh, wait, wrong <laughs> dice. And he's rolled this dice. For what? Pretty much like some of those women that Felix hangs out with. Exactly. 
make things wither. So I rolled a three on my from my magic wild. Okay. And now we are going to cast catapult. What are you catapulting? Him. Himself. Any rock or object near me. Yeah, I'll give you a rock. You know what? I'll, I'll give Firefly. you a I'll give you a fractured burnt timber. Okay. So I spike him in the head and kill him, right? I I, I I whip it at him for 18 points of damage. Do you whip it at the one that touched copious or the other one? The one that touched copious. Okay. It goes through his head like a number two pencil at a John Wick convention and kills him <laughs> immediately. He falls uh, uh, over, lands on the ground, and his friend, still covered in foam, whips his Fabio-esque hair back and looks at, uh, I have one, two, man, fang, three, four, copious, five, five, six, a hobgoblin. Looks at copious and he's going to throw the punch. Uh, the hobgoblin, however, also gets to attack at the same time. So uh, root beer will be the hobgoblin, green and white will be the barbarian. Uh, green and white is a 16 and a 2. The hobgoblin swings and misses as the barbarian throws an uppercut what? at Copious. Wasn't uh, Man Fang not? He's, he was attacking the other one, right? I'm not doing anything because I, 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 ro I rolled no initiative, so I'm not doing anything. Yeah. I'm kind of just standing there. Like yeah, he's, oh. he's standing there. Uh, oh. Does an 18 hit you, Copious? I didn't cast Shadow Armor as I, I walked up, so an 18 hits me, and then he has to make a con roll because he's, Copious is going to cast Hellacious Rebuke. Uh, you take eight hit points as he loosens your teeth. Uh, he only rolls a five on Hellish Rebuke. All right, so then he gets four die ten damage. <laughs> that's nine, and that's uh, thirteen more, so twenty two points of damage. Oh, he goes down. Uh, in, uh, is it actual flame? It's actual flames. Oh, no, okay. Co Copious is a fey. <laughs> is a fey gnome. So I, I we'll just lay him in the rubble. As, uh, more like <laughs> thorns and vines and stuff coming up, probably. Okay, so not flame by the alcohol wagon. Right. Right. <laughs> You're sure on that one. Pretty sure on that one. Okay. Uh, hey, it's beer. He he explodes in spores. How about that one? Perfect. Okay, and goes down in a slump. Uh, Leaf, Robert, Manfang, and Copious perception check. I'm sure the two guild reps love this. Twenty one. 14. Uh, that is a 6. Copious. I want to use the computer dice 18. for a second. I want uh, everybody it. but Manfang looks over and sees Gary and Gertrude. Just let go for a second. <laughs> but, uh, Copious is going to stand up and look around at whoever's around him and say, do we have any other problems? Uh, nope. No problems whatsoever. Uh, Hobgoblin says, nice job, Bass. Because remember, he speaks broken common. Nice job, Bass. <laughs> Bass. Uh, Heidi comes up and goes, are, are we selling? Are we not selling? What are we Sell. doing here? Sell? Sell. <clears throat> uh, yeah, the two are taking... A vast amount of notes, apparently. Uh, Hobgoblin. I'm standing behind him. I'm gonna look over his shoulder and see what he's writing. Sure. Uh, it appears to be negative comments. Uh, the word violation keeps cropping up. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, back at the workers' group, Felix D12 against me. Eleven. Three. You tell your story and all the workers erupt in laughter. I mean, heinous laughter. Whatever story you told, they really liked it, uh, which can cause consternation to the rest of the group. I have chosen one of your stories at random. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Which one? Something about a bounty hunter. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, let's see if the adventuring group picks up on that. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're no story. point in laughing behind a boulder. <laughs> yeah, no uh, shit. Your your story. <laughs> Your story about almost getting captured by a bounty hunter has just brought the house down. Everybody thinks that's funny. Even some of the adventurers are like, ha, 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 ha. Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I hope Robert didn't hear the story because he still thinks I hooked up with the bounty hunter. Uh, nope. Uh, everybody else is busy with uh, the Perfect. blood fest. I so. need to keep that uh, charade going as long as possible. <clears throat> so now give me another constitution check. Oh, natural 20. Okay, whatever. Okay, uh, the laughter has uh, brought more oxygen into your system. You feel normal again. Slight tinge of a headache, but nothing major. Uh, you wander back over to splatter damage and uh, a, an old log with a lot of mushrooms on it. Am I going to... Do I see what's going on with uh, the people in black leather from the guild? Uh, perception I... check. Uh, 11. Uh, you see them there. You don't know what they're doing. And you see Leaf. I'm going to, you know, kind of try to just sneak over to Leaf and say, Leaf, what's going on? What happened? I, I'm going to look at him in a stage whisper, say, well, apparently it's a government shakedown of some kind. Well, then I'm going to, I'm going to stage whisper back to Leaf. Just give them the bribe and get them the hell out of here. Why is Copius not doing it? Uh, Gertrude turns around and goes, Mr. Leaf, this is not a government shakedown. I assure you, we are only here doing our job. Please, we are not your enemy. Uh, we are merely taking notes and ascertaining whether or not the HR slash six is going to be available anytime soon. Otherwise we will have to curtail your activities as per penal code from uh, Thornfield. So this is- So like I said, it's a government shakedown. You may associate that with this. And Mr. Felix, we do not take bribes. That oh, is... no, 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 no. I'm not looking to bribe you. I'm just admiring that notebook that you got. That thing is really slick. Yeah, Where did you get that? Leaf, Leaf is looking over their shoulder, and you guys were trying to stage whisper into her ear. <laughs> Absolutely. I just did uh, it. Really I'm, doing it on, I'm doing it on purpose. Okay. Uh, we obtained our notebooks oh, oh. from the guild in Thornfield. How much would one of those notebooks cost, say, someone like me? Would say 20 gold pieces buy me that particular notebook? <laughs> Uh, no, this particular notebook is not for sale. Is uh, Mr. Bull Bitters around? We need to discuss something with him. Yeah, he's the one up there that just turned that barbarian into a log. Mm -hmm. Help yourself. Yes, yes I. Uh, and the customer service appears to be going swell. Uh, Copious, you don't need to roll. You see Gary and Gertrude coming towards you. Stack of papers in their hands. And uh, instead of their stoic look, they seem concerned. <laughs> Mr. Bull Bitters, uh, can we have a moment of your time, please? Certainly. Be happy to. Uh, they want you to step away from the rest of the group. Oh, I think it's I think it's best if a couple of the uh, rest of the party uh, is are these consortium party. members? Uh, they are representatives of the consortium. Yes. As you wish. Who wants to join Copius and the uh, two Matrix folks? I, I can't. Will. So everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll uh, just stand around them. Then one big circle jerk. Uh, Mr. Copius, uh, in our very, very brief time here, uh, we see a few problems that uh, need immediate addressing. Uh, first off and foremost, you have the HR slash six form. Hold on. Let me see if I brought that out with us. You may have recognized we were, had to leave in a bit of a hurry dealing with the situation in Triorki. Correct. You can pull out the scroll caddy that he has, mm -hmm. you know, tip it up and say, what was that form you were looking for again? HR slash six. So I'm going to, I'm going to ask for the HR 
slash seven out of this scroll cat. It's just six. a rough chance it will come six. out. Six. Six or seven. Six, six and seven. Uh, two documents come forward. They slide out. I'm going to look at them. Can I read what's on the documents? Oh, quite easily. It's written in common. Uh, the first one that came out that you can see is the HR slash seven. Uh, apparently, this is a sexual harassment form. Uh, <laughs> not filled out at this hey, time. That son of a bitch, the Felix. <laughs> Please don't be me. Please don't be me. <laughs> this, wait, I'm going to pass it over and say, was this the form you were looking for? Not yet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give her a pat on the butt. I'm going to go ahead and just... I'll take it. that form now. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I just hold that? I'm going to look at Felix and go, you may want to just hold that form. They want to make copies of this. Yeah. Uh, the one on the bottom is an HR slash six. Okay, I'm going to pull it. Is it filled out by chance? Yeah, it is. For what is it filled out? Uh, tavern and light reach. I'm going to... Oh, man. Well, it, was pen and scratch that shit out. Right wait, the other wait, way. I'm going to try this. Now, I'm, I'm going to pass that form over. Now, the, the H, the six, what exactly does it do? Is it clear from the form? <clears throat> you can tell that it certifies this establishment as being allowed to operate under the laws of Drake Blair. Okay. Now, second question. Does it allow the business to operate or the location to operate? Both. This business at this location. So is it transferable? To, I'm going, Copius is going to play off. The, he believes this was transferable. He talked He talked to someone that said they represented the guild. When Magistrate said we were good to go. Said, and Lightreach said that this was transferable and we could take it to another location because we weren't going to stay in Lightreach. Uh, and uh, we thought it would transfer to this location when we purchased this this site after the and he's going to play up the sympathy card this horrific destruction in this area all these people unemployed look at these workers we're not looking to sell down but we felt we were compelled to help this community percept or persuasion check uh, okay. uh 26. These are the documents you are looking for. <laughs> <laughs> While your information has been mostly correct, uh, the documentation signatory has not been filled out for this particular location. Ergo, this document is not filled out correctly, uh, Mr. Wolfbitters. It needs to have the signatory, you show documentation from the guild, us, that this is transferable to this location uh a few questions if we may of this course esta this establishment in light reach is it no longer in business uh that was our understanding the person was retiring and was leaving uh we we had purchased a couple of properties in light reach i have my retirement home is in light reach <laughs> um you have any documentation showing that you are a resident of light reach I have my 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 other property I purchased. I can show you that documentation. Would that suffice? That would suffice. Okay. He's going to ask for the the deed to. I think it was the. Uh, I have it written down in my paperwork here somewhere. Was it the uh, the, the the scribe the the co uh, pink the uh, pink house was it? No, it wasn't. Yes, no, the no, scribe. No. The scribe. I have I have the deed for the scribe. Um, I had uh, had a wonderful interaction and, and light reach so fell in love with the town uh my friend was the proprietor of the pink house uh and so You're i'm familiar with the pink town. house yeah who isn't yeah, right? we are. um <laughs> it has failed several of its health inspections uh really I yeah. well, we know that <laughs> uh, so anyways he'll pull out the the deed to the, the scribe's old house it said i purchased this from the scribe Great person did some work for us, copying some uh, interior maps, which is where we were on our way to Thornfield when uh, <coughs> this tragedy happened to the roadhouse. Uh, Gary takes it first, examines it very closely, hands it off to Gertrude. She examines it less uh, conspicuously. Uh, that seems to be in order. Uh, however, uh, are you, 
have you paid your dues to the Roadhouse Guild? Ah, we just came into possession. Uh, and where would I send those the, those dues to? We're we're trying to do that when, uh, you know, unfortunately that all this sort of happened within the last couple of days. How many days would you say? Uh, two. Are you sure about that? Not really. <laughs> well, as I'm sure you are aware, since you seem to have a great deal of paperwork, uh, the transfer and possession of said property must be done within 30 days of said uh, redistribution. Now, with Smidgey, rest his soul, uh, deceased, uh, yes. and, and you claiming acceptance of the property and, uh, I, I assume, debt of the property as well? You are assuming both ownership and uh, ownership of the debt? Oh, why do I feel like I'm talking <laughs> to a banker? Because you are. Are we? Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. The, there was no uh, debt recorded at the time of sale. Oh, I'm afraid you're on the statement. I assumed I was. How much debt do did Smidgey have on the, the property? One moment, please. You know, they're, they're kind of drifters. Maybe no one would miss them, you know? I don't think like, they're drifters. Uh, Mr. Smidgey, Mr. Smidgey uh, shows here he is Oh, I, I, I am afraid he is short of his quarterly dues, uh, ergo 257 gold pieces is due upon that. His uh, rental for inkeep is also behind, uh, that is 68 gold pieces, uh, with, I don't suppose the ledger survived the fire? I believe the dragon... Uh, incinerated Smidgey along with his ledgers. That is unfortunate for Mr. Smidgey. Uh, 278, 68, uh, transfer of uh, ownership. I assume your consortium will be paying this as a conglomeration. Let's just go with yes. Uh, very uh, sound. Uh, that's 400 gold pieces for the transfer of sale. Uh, Gary taps down on it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, stables? Gone? That's Let's a, just kill them and be done with it. Uh, I He's have... Uh, for that, to be honest with you. What? Uh, I have uh, 734 gold pieces uh, payable uh, within 30 days. It appears as though uh, the unfortunate accident occurred uh, three days ago. I assume business was tendered four days ago, or do you ex was that uh, chosen upon his death? And what happens if we don't pay? Uh, you will be shut down. And then what happens to the oh, property? Uh, it will go to the guild. And what about his uh, fire insurance policy? Did that, uh, th that miraculously survive? It had lapsed. Do you have proof of that document? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to shove a sword straight through that document into its throat. What the hell was that? Uh, that, that, is, that is the 100 gold piece fine. Leading nope. to the 734 gold pieces you have. Uh, Mr. Roll Bitters, Mr. Consortium members, uh, you have 27 days to uh, get the establishment back up and running uh, with the fire safety apparel in place, as well as the $734 in costs. Uh, and that needs to be delivered in Thornfield in person. So I hope you have sunglasses, a full tank of gas, and a bunch of cops chasing you because <laughs> you are now on a mission from God. <laughs> now we have to go north and find a dragon school. And then we burn down the uh, guild. So uh, just uh, wait, what's in, uh, 
if it's not paid within the 34 days that you 27 days, Mr. Co 27 Mr. days, because you've determined that four days, unless we have evidence uh, that the business was still in operation prior to that 27 days. So if that is the case, um, now, obviously, are you aware of Hugo Boss? We are aware of uh, the textile merchant. Now, Mr. Boss has a relationship with this uh, establishment as well, and he was traveling west, um, or was he traveling east? He was traveling east towards Thornfield. Um, he would be one of our contacts when we head towards Thornfield. We are in the process of establishing another business. Can we leverage credit against future client, um, endeavors to offset some of this cost? Well, that would be up to the council. And the council is in Thornfield? That is correct, sir. We are merely investigators. So could you uh, be sure, I assume you will provide copies of all your documentation for us to use and, and speak with the magistrate about before we complete our business no, here? we are not. Oh. Our, uh, our documentation goes back to the guild. So we have no documentation as to any of the fines you've established. We're just taking your word for it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, they look the, honest, don't they? If you would like to review the documentation at the hearing, that is by means your right. So is there a hearing regardless of whether we pay? Uh, there is no hearing if you pay. Uh, wow. If you wish to dispute the factual information that we have ascertained here, you are entitled to a hearing within two business days of your appearance. In Thornfield? That is correct, sir. That's, that's after you guys get back to Thornfield? We will be sending it out over the wire. There is no wire. So, so that's after you get back with your report, right? We are assigned to this district, so we will not be in Thornfield. So if we need to talk to you in this district, where would we find you? Raglan. <laughs> you knew that's where it could be. Oh, I knew it. I wanted to say it. I was dying to say it. Dragon yeah. Hunt, Raglan, <laughs> Generalissimo, and the net is drawn. Gentlemen, we will no longer waste any of your time. It's clear that uh, you have this well in hand. We will go ahead and give you a temporary operating permit today. Uh, Gary, if you'll go ahead and get that uh, done. Uh, do you have any other questions pertinent to the investigation, gentlemen? No, is Felix here too, though, and Haggis? Uh, yep, everybody's there. You guys have encircled them, and they don't give two shits about that. It, man, I, yeah, I don't have any questions. Anybody else have any questions? No, Consortium but I'm going to members? I'm gonna cast Detect Magic on them, just for sure. the hell of it. They, uh, they've got amulets that are magical, and then it just fades away. I... As soon as they seem distracted, I want to try to motion to Felix if he seems or in Haggis just to see if I can suggest to them pick their pocket. Oh, totally. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> did I, I? I never did sleight of hand before. Oh, no, it's plus oh, 11. I will sleight of plus hand. Plus 11 for Haggis. Yeah. yeah. Although I've never done it before. So, um, so Felix, the guy or the girl? Which one are you going for? Whichever one I'm closest to. Uh, girl, even Gary. Uh, nine, Gertrude. Okay, so I got the guy? Uh, you have Gary. Okay. He rolled a 19 on his. 24. Very nice. Uh, you guys both come away with small pouches. I quickly just... Put them somewhere where they wouldn't go, you know. Both of you D12, highest one gets something weird. <laughs> Fine. D12. That's usually Felix. <laughs> I was going to say, that's what Felix says. <laughs> Haggis got the high one. Okay, well, he put his pouch away. Uh, both pouches are filled with gemstones, totally at about 50 gold pieces. They're very small. They look like opals. Uh, Haggis... There's something else in your pouch that you do not know of. Uh, um, I, I have a question. Gold? 
I have a question for the two. Sure. So, um, are you guys going to come back after 27 days to get the money? No, you need to report to Thornfield. Where's Thornfield? South. It's the middle of the country. Capital. Okay, so there's no reason for us to really go to Cragwich, right? I wouldn't think so. So you're thinking Raglan. 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 Uh, you, you may come to Raglan if you have additional questions for us. You will not see us unless the guild decides to close you down. And how how, how does the guild get to you if you're all the way you're far away from the guild? So how do you get? How do you know when to come? The guild is all powerful. <laughs> so, so so is my dexterity. So. <laughs> So this guild that we've never heard of until today is suddenly levying a fine on us of 734 gold pieces, and they're all powerful. You know, Leader wasn't that powerful. Yeah, that, that, that sounds very plausible. Yeah, I bet their boss's name is Jimmy. Off <laughs> Either way, I say we go for the dragon treasure still. That's what I've been saying right along. I just can't convince that little chicken shit copious. <laughs> if there are no further questions, we will be on our way. We wish you the best of luck, and we hope to welcome you uh, as with open arms a family member of the guild. Yeah, hey, good luck to you, and I hope you make it back to Raglan. Be safe on your journey, folks. Uh, they get back onto their mules, going down, and an individual walks up to... Robert. Hey, how's it going? Can I help you? <laughs> I, uh, I, I hear that dude over there is uh, wanted by some bounty hunters. Oh, yeah. What, do you, what have you heard? Is it uh, worth he, a lot? He was running his mouth about sleeping with some bounty hunter, and then he got caught, and then he, Shh. I don't know, used superhuman charm or something on her, and, Got away. Let's 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 step over here behind the tents. I don't. It, this guy's worth something. The, between the two of us, we can well, get money out of this. I, I'm I'm busy. My my friends and I are leaving. But no, you, you no, look like you no, look like a bounty no, hunter. No. Come 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 come. I I, I really think we're, you we're, have to come with me with we're, we're, an intimidation roll of fourteen. I've got a fifteen on my roll. Uh, we're getting we're getting going. I'm just you know giving you the heads up if you're looking for some quick coin. I want to introduce you to somebody. Hey, Lee, come over here and check it. I'm putting my arm around his shoulders. Lee, I'll, come over and check come. this guy out. Come here. Hey, yeah, yeah, what, 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 I'll, I'll come up to him. Felix what over is, there is worth some money in a bounty. He's talking about bounty collection. That dude, dude, he's out of his mind. Nobody after him but a few husbands that caught him with their retarded wives, man. I'm telling you right now, he just <laughs> blow hard. Get the I'm few, just, I'm just a telling little you. bit of little bit of wine in him, and he just beep, 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 beep. I'm just telling you what I heard. You guys look yeah. like upstanding citizens, uh, people my my ilk, and I just wanted to let you know uh, you might Pull be running, running, running criminal. Pull no, my dagger out and play with his uh, string ties. You shouldn't listen to everything you hear from people. It's this, just this guy pulls out his knife and he goes, that's not a knife. It <laughs> 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 puts it back in his scabbard. He goes, best of luck. Taps you on the shoulder. Best of luck. Taps you on the shoulder. Heads off with his uh, cronies and they are <laughs> headed north. I'm checking to make sure I still got my They're heading north. Well, hey, Copius, I think we need to just trail behind these guys and head north. Really, I just want to get us to head towards the dragon's treasure. Yes, yes, yes. But this is the first excuse. So we need to talk, boys. Uh, you can also see other members of the 71 people who are here splitting off into groups. It looks like a giant scavenger hunt is about to take place. They are splitting off into groups of five and or six. So we're taking who's taking note of which groups look weakest that we can pick off Hunger Games style. Uh, whoever <laughs> is doing that, I will need 
insight rolls. I have good insight. Yeah, but you have shitty rolls. Here, just let me do it. Do it. I promise you it'll be okay. Who wants to roll? Well, that went as bad as well as we all thought it would. I thought it was an eighteen. I thought it was an eighteen for a second, then it then it looked like it was a six. Yeah, because those numbers are so much alike. That way. Just click on inside. Uh, yeah, your numbers suck. Yeah, you would have rolled an 18 if you would have just used that. Why do my hands curse me? If ifs and nuts were candy and butts. Uh, so it looks like there are 12 groups splitting up. Uh, the snitch is in group 11. I've got to say something to Copious. Copious. Yeah. Ask that magic bag you got from the Leaf, uh Heineken steps up and kind of pushes you back. Uh, boss, we got another problem here. Okay, okay. Number one, Heineken's not going to push me back. Look, do you, do you want me to get this thing put together or not? I'm just saying. If, you don't, if you don't want my help, I, I can leave. I'm okay. kind of I, you I'm know what? I, I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll, I'll walk away. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, no, I ain't no off my teeth. Um, I'd like to check my pouch, by the way. Copious. Copious. Yeah, it's fine. Ask that ask that ask that parchment container you've got if it has a map to the dragon's horde. <laughs> fine, I'll do that. And but the whole time I'm asking, I'm I'm trying to figure out where Heine is so I can go deal with her. She is stomping off. She's pissed. She'd be pissed all she wants. She's a pushy I mean, I, little, pushy little halfling. Map to map to the dragon's horde. Uh, yeah, uh, a piece of parchment comes whipping out. I'm going to look at it. Does it look like this area at all? Uh, the dragon horde looks to be a tavern in some kind of uh, thornfield district. I'm going to look at Leaf without batting an eye and say, "I th I think we found the dragon horde." <laughs> Why don't you reword it and try again? Okay. Give me something to go on. Ask it where they're asked for a, a map to the Red Dragon's Horde. <laughs> red Dragon's Treasure? Or, gonna, or not I'm Treasure, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me cut to the chase on this one for the DM. Shake it out. Love it. Oh, look. It's a map to the Red Dragon's Horde, a tavern in Thornfield. <laughs> it's a different <laughs> one. <laughs> That is probably going to give you a map that has a, a picture of an ass that says up here and to the left. It's a franchise. <laughs> franchise. It's, it's like uh, Popeye's chicken in uh, Thornfield. A lot no, of, have, lot of have, dragons have, horn. In England, they have the Red Lion Tavern. You know, that's what it is. Like the Red Lion. All right. But well, I have a map of this area. We do have a map of this area. You do. Well, we need to look at, go take care of your hiney, bitch. <coughs> go ahead. Still a finger. I'm going to pull uh, out the map of the area. Then. Sure. Copious, uh, percep everybody perception check. Oh. That's a uh, 23. Hey, Frankie, you got 12. I got 21. Everybody above a 12 notices a fight between a group of hobgoblins and a group of halflings. Everybody is armed with either a shovel or a maul, a big hammer. Uh, this I'm must go, I can go break it up. I got, we're going to go. Yeah, we're going to go. I'm going to, I can break it up. I have good talking skills. No, you're not talking. You're just going to <laughs> there's muscle. <laughs> He's the a same thing I'm doing. He's uh, a diplomat. One, one, Adam, one out of 12 is responding to the fight with chains and knives. Uh, whose side, what do you two want to do with this mess? Copious, you can surmise that this is the urgent problem that, as Leaf has put it, that Heine bitch was bitching about. <laughs> so, uh, they're Malloy and... Uh, Who's the other one? It's Kevin one Corbin. 12, one yeah. Malloy and the other one. 
Uh, what are you two going to do? Uh, I'm going to try and break it up. Uh, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask the, the whoever looks most volatile. Like Reed to kill. That's Malloy and Reed. That's right. Reed. Uh, okay, so uh, give me a persuasion check, uh, young man. Felix, somebody's okay. tapping you on the shoulder. I will look over and see who it is. One of those adventuring types that want to know, uh, is there any gambling around here? Ooh, yes. In fact, I was just looking at this fight, and I think that I have bought a place to wager myself. Hmm. Who you got? Uh, I kind of like the big guy with the hammer. The hobgoblin? Yeah. Uh, what do you what want do you on that? I got the little guys. They're scrappy. The little guys? Oh, okay. Okay. Why don't we... Yeah, let's do it. Uh, two gold. Sure, two gold. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, nothing like batting against the DM, dumbass. <laughs> oh, totally. Come on. Come on. Right. Okay, man. Guys. Fang, what's your roll? I rolled an 18 for persuasion. Uh, the halflings point out that the hobgoblins smell and aren't doing their job. Uh, the hobgoblins retort is, we not smell, you smell, uh, and you short, and it gets in my nose faster. Uh, this causes uh, both sides to bristle and grip their equipment uh, firmly, and it looks like uh, it's, it's not going to go to a happy ending. All right, I'm just going to tell. What if I no? Stop it! Stop it! I'm just going to tell. Don't shoot them. magic in the air. No, stop! You're going to aggravate them more. Okay. Oh, oh look, it's the starter gun. <laughs> yeah. I hate all of you. I'm trying to explain this. All right, what I want to do is I want to say that they all smell, and if they don't get back to work, they're all fired. No, they're not fired. No, we need uh, them. You can't say that. Well, uh, your comment. Let's see. Uh, four. So the hobgoblins don't like it. They're good. Uh, and a two. Uh, the halflings don't like it. They immediately begin to pepper you from both sides. You are now their common enemy talking about how you're the one that stinks because you don't bathe nearly enough and you got stinking scales and they're all black. I and did. The, I and the hobgoblin the says, yeah, what he said. The I short guy is right. Now, I want to get them to work together because then they'll have a common enemy. See? They don't hate me. And if they, they'll just hate me and not each other. Yeah, but I, I, I think that is a one solid... of them has said a lie. You do smell, you are uglier, and you work less. Exactly. So they're coming at me. This is a good thing. That's brilliant strategy, man thing. Well done. So I'm just going to say. I concur. So I'm just going to say. I don't know. What am I going to say? Because I don't know. Well, yeah, what what you that, say next is whether you are a hero or the goat and not Tom Brady goat. I'm okay. going to readjust my wager with this guy and say, hey, uh, I got the big guy killing the, the guy with the scar. You want you want some side action on that? One gold? Mm. Yeah, there's, there's no way that scar dude dies. He, yeah, I'll go one on. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. AJ's cool. betting against you. I, I know, and I hate you, okay? So, what I'm going to say is. Use your words carefully. Oh, now that we're all in agreement. Now that we're all in Man Fang, this ugly dragon thing, scarred, smelly, future thing, is worse than anybody. Can we all just go back to ourselves, little spots on your own, and get back to work? Convince them that I'm the enemy. Persuasion, Robert. Please roll high. Please roll low. <laughs> that's mine. But okay. No, that's mine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. 16. You, the, you know what? Hey, I tell you what. Man thing. Go stand over there. Hey, y'all. There's a bag of rotten tomatoes over there. You get to pepper him. If you take one, pepper him with it and run back. You let out your anger by throwing these rotten tomatoes at the man thing. Uh, they go over to the bag, look at it. Uh, how many of the halflings are going to do this? Five of the halflings are going to do it. That means five of the hobgoblins are going to do it. But the five hobgoblins eat the rotten tomatoes and wander off to go work. Uh, huh. 
the five throwers. What's your AC? 18. Nat 20, 17, 12, 2, and 10. Uh, the Nat 20 catches you right in the eyeball. The 17 catches you right in the snout, making you look like a Thanksgiving pig. Uh, the other three miss horribly. Uh, if I roll a one or a two, they're going to hit leaf just to be a pest. Oh, that's, that's not going to go over well. <laughs> they're going to die. A one, a 14, and a 19. One of the errant throws lands on the druid. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to look at the one that just did that and say, you better run, bitch. You're going to die. <laughs> okay. I'm going to talk to Leaf. I'm going to talk to Leaf. Uh, the halfling in question sees Leaf and takes off running for his life. <laughs> I'm well, gonna go get Leaf. back to work. That's I'm gonna go fast and tangle in front of him. No, wait, wait, can I stop him? How far am I away from Leaf to stop him? Uh, his range is 60. Uh, do I need uh, a saving throw for that? Yep. Jump <laughs> in front of his spell, Frankie. I will. Uh, give me a minute to find it. Uh, 13 plus 114. Felix, uh, your newfound friend. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay him the three nope. gold pieces. One. And I'll say, I'll say, hang around, though. I think there's going to be some more action later. Well, we're going to do a dice game here uh, in our there chat. If you there we go. You know what? You got fees to pay, buddy. Uh, strength. You need a strength saving throw. 14. Oh, that's against my uh, uh, spell thing, isn't it? Yes. And it is 14 is what mine is. Uh, well, now he's running and he's got a long pumpkin tendril hanging off his leg. You're short one worker. <laughs> that's fine as long as his ass keeps running. They don't want me to catch him. Well, you want to send Haggis to chase him now? <laughs> no. Or his battle duck? <laughs> Uh, That's pretty scary. Workers lose fingers. Uh, Felix, uh, do you want to go into the tent with uh, your new friend? Well, oh, yeah. now it has been zero days without an accident. Is that a yes? Yes. Okay, fair enough. Uh, okay, Leaf has tried to entangle it. Uh, for right now, the work problem seems to be resolved. Copious, you have caught up to the stinking it mad hiney. Uh, and she just lambasts how Leaf has treated her. And th if this is any reflection on how this organization is going to be run, she is not going to have any of it. Uh, if it is, uh, she is just going to walk off right now. And she feels that she now deserves a raise. <clears throat> of course she do. What? Of course she does. And she, she does would like to file an HR slash seven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and who's in one? Who's she filing that again? Uh, Leaf. Yeah, yeah, for sexual harassment. What the, is she the, the words that he called me were <laughs> unkind and against my femininity. No, I think they were spot on, bitch. Hey, you're not there. <laughs> That's That's gonna be too. <laughs> <laughs> He's not there. <laughs> He's busy trying to kill a halfling. He <laughs> heard the whispers and started shouting towards okay, the tent. Okay, now hold on a minute. I didn't cast lightning bolt. I cast entangle. <laughs> I was going to whip a halfling. I wasn't going to kill it. Okay, Mr. Candy. Uh, everybody but Felix Perception. Well, 22. 14. Go ahead and roll up there, man. Thank you. This is too busy trying to defuse. Oh, you uh, suck. Ten. Hoggis. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, Leaf, Hoggis, and Robert. Uh, it looks like there's a storm rolling in from the north. Uh, Felix, you walk into this tent and you are immediately surrounded by five beefy looking dudes. Give me an insight check. 15. Looks like they've been waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a wanted man. I got a price on my head. Uh -oh. 
So, what's the name of the game, gentlemen? <laughs> one of them, bye, uh, that's bye bye Felix. That's what it one is. of them. A female looks at you and goes. We're using my dice and money's up front. Uh, everybody kind of drops to their knees in the grass and they start dumping coins out in front of them. Uh, she moves a, a piece of flat wood or a flat stone and puts it in the center of it. Starts rolling dice. You sit down and join them? Mm-hmm. Uh, do I yeah, you shove people... in the back from your new friend? Come on, these guys are great. Uh, with these, I'm, I'm very particular about uh, the dice because I just sometimes I just don't trust other people's dice. Uh, are you well, calling me a just, cheater? No, 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 no. It's just I'm very particular about my dice. See, these dice, they, they were my They're father's dice, they were with my me, blah blah blah. All while I'm going to be talking and Trying to assess, were these the people that I was telling the bounty hunter story to? Perception check. 11? Who died? At least uh, one of them was. Oh. Do I, yeah, do I feel Spoil, like I'm Spoiler get, alert, all of them. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do I feel like I'm about to get kidnapped? That's the real question. Hey, per, per, insight check. Hey, Felix, you want some candy? Fifteen. Get in the van, Felix. I got some candy for you. Help me find my dog. You've been in better situations, and that includes having a ball gag. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pass on this one, and I'll I'll just say, oh, hold on a second. I just heard Copius calling for me. Give me two minutes. I will be right back. And you hear the female turn to the guy who tapped you on the shoulder and say, I told you he was a lolly. Out the door. <laughs> I'll be a lolly today. I'm going to correct the DM here. You <coughs> mentioned the ball gag incident as a bad thing for Felix. He nearly burned to death. <laughs> yeah, but... That one was a bad one. Yeah. He could have been... I'll be he was enjoying himself. Don't let him kid you. Oh, I, I, I am fully aware until the flames started to lick the staircase. Yeah. Uh, that being said, uh, you rush out of the tent, I assume, and rejoin your compatriots. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody notices that uh, he has uh, beads of sweat on his forehead and looks harried. Where'd you come from, Felix? Whew, I was I'll oh, tell my <laughs> Ooh, it got intense. Felix, you notice that uh, Leaf has a red <laughs> on him. Oh, I, um, I uh, the pouch thing that I got from them. Uh-huh. Something special. Mm-hmm. What is Something it? Weird. It, it's a coin, but it has like three prongs on it that kind of shut around the circumference of it, but you can move it out and twist it so it forms like a brazer, a three-legged brazer uh, with the flat of the coin being up. Oh, for cooking your dope in. Well, it's only the size of a coin. That's all you need. I I am unfamiliar with. Boom! On record. (laughs) (laughs) Watch movies. <laughs> nice save. Fail. Yeah, right. Fail out of my little friend. So it's the size of a spoon, is what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's you aren't really sure what it does. Don't put a flame on the top of it. <clears throat> you might find out. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. Let's light it up. <clears throat> what do you want to do with it, Hoggis? Maybe detect magic anyone oh yeah it's blue if somebody detects um i'll i'll, I'll uh, it's show it to leaf let me show it to leaf show it to robert robert the reason i say that he doesn't have to burn a spell slot for it but uh, uh, he uh, does have to roll <laughs> i know copious does it without burning a spell slot and he doesn't have to roll 
No, I, I yeah, did but I, I, I showed it to all of you. Someone detects. Uh, I, heard, I heard Robert. I heard Robert. <laughs> what I do is I identify what the object is. Still got a roll. Yep. Are you ready? Yeah, I got no. a three. Evaporate the coin. I don't have that. I rolled two. Frank. Uh, two. What two. leaf? Two. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it, it appears to be some kind of messaging device. That's how they oh. communicate. Oh. That work. Hmm. Hey, so like Verizon jetpack. <laughs> hey, Nicholas, Nicholas, the first matrix, it's the telephone call. Oh, yeah. yeah telephone. Put it up to your ear. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like wondering how they communicate with each other. Speak into it. Hello? It, not a bad idea. Hello? Is this the party to, to whom I am speaking? Inspect it a little bit. See if it changes. Hello, it your credit card information has expired. You will need to get a new one. Uh, your car warranty is about to go yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need to get a new one. We need the three numbers at the back of your credit card. No, this is my favorite. is Hello, this is the FBI. I am Agent uh, Jim. <laughs> There's a warrant uh, for your arrest unless you pay me now. No, <laughs> with me it's always the IRS. Nothing works. I mean, hello, hello, hello. It requires a pressed ham. Three chicken feathers and the blood of a young child. <laughs> <laughs> I might have a little of that in my bowl from the uh, light reach. Uh, of this group, I am sure that you can achieve all of those items somehow. <laughs> there is no I question in my mind. We, what time of day is it now? It is uh, mid-afternoon. And isn't there a storm blowing in? Mm. From the north. Also, this dragon treasure, we got to seriously put our well, foot we need down to back on this. down the hatches we, and get raised. It looked like we got that map. Storm. I'm going to I've got to study that that map of the area myself. If we can copy that map and the map of the land and put it on a new map that shows where it is and like what, what that, that map? We what we have one map. <laughs> yeah, but let's make another one so we can draw oh, it. You make it. Uh, what about yeah. your cell phone journey to the center of the earth, and now you have two? <laughs> <laughs> or no, that was the second one with a rock, I think. Uh, one of them. Heck, bump. <laughs> so, my question, if all the group is back together, it's... it's you are. It's basic question here. Are we going to start heading in north to see if we can find this damn dragon treasure before our storm hits, are we going to stay here and then go out afterwards? That's my first question. The second question is, who can start asking questions of some of these groups that have split off just to say, what information do they, you know, how yeah. are they figuring out where they're going? Or Well, if we could just find out where the thing has been sighted at before we could narrow it down a bit. Can I tell what kind of storm's coming? Looking at it? Thunderstorm. Big one. Na, 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 na. High cloud shelf. So we need to reinforce any tents that we do have up, get the, everything strapped down. I've seen Big Top Peewee. This could be bad. Mm. And Heine wants to know if she's going to get a bonus for returning to work. Yes. When? At the success One, once of the reestablishment of this facility. Yes. She would like, how do you say it? A cut of the action. She wants equity. Maturity leave. Looks she like. wants. Uh, we will what? discuss. What do, you, what do you call it? You you stock, you, stock options. You hear we will discuss stock <laughs> options <laughs> and return later with what options. We agree to this, but we'll return later with what options uh, you will Great. receive. Hope she's going to hand her another HL7 form. Uh, wise choice. Uh, she would prefer, after overhearing you guys' intent, uh, <clears throat> we kind of hammer out the details now. Well, I or, can be uh, percent of nothing, or we can discuss what you we think you deserve when we return, let you know what it is. Well, my concern is... Because if this doesn't uh, if go up, don't you get return. zero anyways. 
If you don't return, I feel that I should be uh, entitled to uh, post-mortem equity. This is a lot of law talk that I don't understand. My brain is too small. She You're asks, burning noodle. She, she asks for a minor 3% cut of the action. 3% after expenses? <sighs> yep. I'll she'll give you say gross, She'll say 3% gross. Gross. 3%. Hurry, yeah. hurry, hurry, hurry. We do it right here, right now. Good. Uh, persuasion from Leaf. What are you doing? What are you doing for that? 19. She'll take 3% net. 3% net it is. Man, that was lucky. I don't have any but pluses on that sucker. She starts screaming. Everybody start tying this stuff down. We got a storm coming. I need this down. I need this secured. I need this uh, moved over. Uh, she is getting squared away. I'm going to go over to copious say, uh, we didn't say, we, we just said 3% net. But we didn't say if that was net profit off of whores, food, stable, liquor. He Here's made the deal. Do. He made the deal on the whole enterprise. I uh, think I never heard the enterprise. Wait, wait, wait. She just said she wanted three percent. Three percent. Let's keep in mind though. Yeah. From the beginning, the 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 brothel is a separate contractual enterprise. We're just they're ten ninety nine employees. Like, That's right. <laughs> they are so yeah, Felix is going to run that for a dollar a week and all he can eat. <laughs> the seafood venue. Oh, <laughs> God. Crab. Oh, don't you act all high and mighty now. We've seen you in action. And now that we've lost most of our viewers, yeah. uh, <laughs> is it possible uh, to send out to the viewers HL7 form? <laughs> well, yeah, we lost both of our viewers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, little Frank, what'd you think? I loved it. <laughs> I'm getting excited. I got, I got that. I got to kill somebody. It's a good day. Yeah, awesome. You're the only one that got to kill somebody. <laughs> uh, little Frankie, what'd you think? I thought it was good. I liked it because I finally got to use my diplomacy skills again after so long of just fighting and no talking. He saved the tavern. I did. You did actually did. save the tavern, so but I you did ready. almost kill one of the uh, halflings. Yeah, I by need, by not jumping in front of that tomato. I just need to be the most jerky, smelly person in the world. Done. And I think Done. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Done. I don't think I need to prepare. Hey. Yeah. I think hey, I feel hey, like hey. I've been preparing for this my whole life. Manfang is now officially the head of HR. <laughs> wow. Oh. This is going to dissolve quickly. <laughs> Great relation right there. Uh, that means Felix is going to need a new pen. Jason, what'd you think? <laughs> I think the DM intentionally was trying to push every button Copious had through the last two hours. What? Yeah, yeah. I think, that doesn't, you know, that's what I think. When you go back to secretarial pool, you discuss it with the Dave, other heads. <laughs> Here's another HL7 form from HR for you. Uh, Nicholas, what'd you think? I had a great time. You know, we can barely see you, by the way. You you and your grandpa are, like, invisible. <laughs> I like kids. I like kids. Uh, yeah, his, his that's the average. You know, that's his favorite kid, I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like sitting like this because I know you see the eyeballs. That's you are the father. Uh, Frank, Frank Sr., what'd you think? I just, I'm anxiously awaiting the appearance of my offspring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not going to make it that easy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, feel it. You know what? You'll see evidence of your offspring. Well, we've already yeah. done that. I'm so proud. Yeah. I like the duck. Uh, AJ, what'd you think? Uh, I thought it was good, and I think Felix needs to learn how to keep his damn mouth shut about that. Wanted poster. Yeah, the drinky poo might have had something to do with it. Rolling yeah, that one that'll... really hurt you. Oh, it's gonna. I'm sure it'll get me into trouble again. At least uh, you didn't come on to Gertrude. That could have gone poorly. <laughs> with a name like Gertrude, I don't think that would. You know. Nonsense. Well, charisma. Yeah, that's probably fine. 
Folks, this has been yeah. Murder Hobo I, Inc., the Margu Tri Generational Campaign. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD with us, join our Discord. If you want to buy some cool stuff like phone case, uh, throw pillow, uh, I don't know, skateboard, all that kind of crap, check it out. Uh, big thanks to Pirate Dog Dice for dice that don't suck uh, and oddfishgames.com for a game that. Smells like success for the DM, not so much for Man Fang. And of course, uh, Mammoth Productions, uh, take a look at their stuff. Battle maps, uh, apparel, things of that nature. Don't forget, MurderHoboCon.com. Folks, uh, this is the last week for sign up. We've got 18, 19 events, uh, full venue, full thing, full list of things to do. Uh, sign up, five bucks get you in for the whole day. You play in as many games as you want. Uh, we ask that you get a ticket, uh, which doesn't cost anything, but that helps the DM know who's showing up because there are limits on how many people can play in those games. Uh, go to murderhobocon.com uh, and then find the tabletop.events link uh, to sign up. We hope to see you there. That will be all day next Sunday. So no Margu. These guys have to stew on what Gertrude and Gary are going to do to them, for them, or with them. Oh. If they get back to Raglan, right? Yeah, but you guys are dicking around. <laughs> uh, maybe if you turn into a blue whale, you can crush them. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you. Uh, we will see you Tuesday for Between the Rolls if you want to join that. M Hobo in Twitter and Gmail. Dating Game oh. Kiss and Wave. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.